Fashion brands are using AI generated models to become more diverse, but what about the very real diverse models who are already out there? Now, there have been countless calls for the fashion industry to become more inclusive, calls for more plus size models, calls for more real bodies, and more people of colour to celebrate and show us what clothes might actually look like on us. But is using an AI model really the right way to do it? With brands like Levi's, Tommy Hilfiger and Calvin Klein all hopping on the trend, it has us thinking. If we are using AI to create more real looking bodies, can we focus on the part where the bodies aren't real? It seems like this could just create a whole other standard for people to compare themselves to. Now, Levi said that the aims of these AI models is not to replace human models, but rather to supplement them. And Michael Masandu, who is the founder of La La Land AI, which is the tech behind all of this, points out that real models can be really expensive. And he says that this will help more brands be able to afford as wide a range of body types as possible. There's so much to consider though, so AI models of course don't age, which makes them a hot commodity in a society obsessed with youth. But then what happens to the real models who do age? An AI company in the Netherlands also made headlines recently after debuting its own AI modeling agency. Brands could also base their AI on body scans of real life models, but who gets paid then when the AI version of their body is plastered across a billboard? Who has the rights to that body? Tell me, what do you think? Is this a step forward or backwards for inclusivity?